Let's talk about multi-line strings in Python. This program acts like a timer. It counts upward one second at a time until we manually exit it by hitting Control C. Now, if we run this program with any command line arguments at all, it will instead print out a usage statement. This usage statement is represented by multiple lines of text in a single string. This string here has backslash n characters in it, which are new line characters. Now, this is a pretty long string. We could make this code a little bit more readable by breaking this string up and then concatenating each of these substrings together. So each line here is one line of text. They all end in that backslash n, and we're using plus to concatenate them together. Now, notice these parentheses. Those are necessary to tell Python that these lines are all a continuation of just one line of code. That's called an implicit line continuation. Using implicit line continuation and string concatenation does work, but there's a better way to represent strings that span over multiple lines of text in Python. This is a multi-line string. These triple quotes tell Python that we're making a string that might span over multiple lines. Python knows that it should treat all of the new line characters within this string as part of our string until it hits the end triple quote. So multi-line strings can use triple double quotes as here or triple single quotes like this. Which style you prefer is really up to you. If you need to represent a block of text in your Python code that spans over multiple lines, you can use a multi-line string.